Hi guys, welcome back to Beautiful Truth. So for today's video, I am coming at you with yet another tutorial. Like with the last time, I'm gonna say bear in mind that I'm not a trained makeup artist, but the thing with that is, if I can do this, so can you. So, as the name suggests, for today's tutorial, I am using the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. Now you'll have to excuse me, this thing is manky dirty for the simple reason that I have used it an awful lot. This is a warm tone palette that sings to my very soul. I am a warm toned loving girl, like so many others, but this in particular is absolutely gorgeous. It is unbelievably pigmented. You'll see as the video progresses how you barely have to touch some of the shadows with your brush to get colour on them. But I will say, some of the shimmer shades have fallout, so keep that in mind. Fallout doesn't really bother me, but I know it can irritate some people. So, no more waffling on. I'm going to get stuck right in. I'm going to show you how to create this look I would love if you could subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of the video in the comment section down below and yeah enjoy so to begin I am taking my absolute favorite foundation at the moment NARS sheer glow in the shade Punjab and I am using a Clinique foundation brush which is just incredible I leave the link for it down below so on my brows I'm using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. That is so hard to say. I like this pencil because it's got a good brush on the end of it but I also like the slanted edge on the, uh, the pencil end. It's good for sculpting out your brows. Now I have got an added advantage because my brows are tattooed on with embroidery but I do like how you're able to create a shape with this pencil and then lightly fill it in. Now I say the word lightly, nobody wants black eyebrows, they're not good. So to set your brows, I am using Benefit Gimme Brow. Now this is also brilliant for the days that you're not putting pencil on your brows because it just catches those small little brows and makes them look fuller. So as usual, I am using Push Makeup's Rudy Nudie for my eyeshadow base. This is honestly the best eyeshadow base I have ever used. It's so creamy, it goes on really easily and it doesn't dry out. I just love it. I can't recommend it highly enough. So the first shadow I'm going to use is Hashtag. Now don't be scared of this orange shade. It is actually gorgeous on and I'm using a Buff and Blend BB08 brush to blend it out. Start with your outer corner and just in circular motions over and back to sheer out the colour a little bit. Next up is the shade Bestie and I am using a MAC 217 brush. Everybody needs a MAC 217 brush in your life. In fact, I'd say you need three. So I am applying that from the outer corner of the eye, kind of the outer third and up into the crease. I just didn't go as far as I did with hashtag. And again, I'm gonna blend it out using the Buff and Blend BB08 brush. So the next shadow I'm going to use is Are You Kidding Me? And I'm going to use a MAC 217 brush again. In fact, I'm using the same MAC 217 brush. I know, absolute scruff bag. I am applying it to the outer third of the eye again. I'm just not going in as far as I would have with Bestie. And what this is doing is it's giving you kind of that tonal look to your eye. I am taking this up into the crease and I'm taking it into the inner corner of the eye. So I'm trying to create somewhat of a spotlight eye here. Using the BB08 brush, I am gonna blend again. You cannot blend enough when you're using eyeshadows. I cannot be dealing with unblended eyes. And I have been that person going around thinking my eyeshadow is absolutely fabulous, but not a single bit of blending in sight. So I'm taking the shade Toffee on a flat shader brush here. Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful color, but it's an absolute devil to work with. I find you really have to push it onto the eye and drag it to get somewhat coverage with it. It'll actually break your heart, but it's worth working with because the finished look with it is just divine. It's such a gorgeous gold color. Toffee is also a really, really good shade for anyone with blue eyes because it will just pick up the color in it and make them pop. So in I go, blending again with the BB08 brush, the best blending brush in the world. Honestly, I cannot sing high enough praises for that blending brush. So next shadow is Brownie Point and I'm just gonna put it right to the outer corner and the inner corner of the eye. This is gonna give even more depth and it's gonna smoke the eye out that little bit. 
So here we go with my absolute holy grail eyeliner. I just, I cannot live without this eyeliner. Now this one has dried out a tiny bit and because of the shade toffee, it is a little bit harder to apply along that kind of the line of the eye. But if you are useless at doing a winged liner like I am, I swear to God, this makes your life so much easier. It is just incredible. I cannot sing high enough praises for it. For my concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Now this is a bit of a Marmite concealer. People either love it or hate it. I absolutely love it. Like I love it. I think it's brilliant for covering dark circles. It's lovely and creamy so it doesn't sit in your fine lines. It blends beautifully. I am blending it right out underneath my eyes to not only cover the dark circles but to give that kind of brighter, highlighted, more awake look in fact um, to the under eye area. To set it, I'm going to use the Photo Balm from The Balm. This is in fact a powder foundation, but I really like the coverage that it gives to the under eye area. Like I have the worst black circles ever, so I need extra coverage and I just find that great. So you're gonna have to excuse me here because the camera went dead and I didn't even realize. But what I've done here is I took hashtag underneath the eyes with Bestie and I just kind of buffered it out. For mascara, I am using the Catrice Glam Doll Mascara. Now, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this. Some days I love it, some days I hate it. It's a decent mascara. It costs less than €4. Euro. It gives you decent length and volume. Is it amazing? No. But I tell you, it's not bad for the price for it, and it's worth picking up. So, for my contouring, I am using the contour powder from the Clarence Contour Kit. I really, really like this contouring kit. You all know how I feel about that dirty streak of contour that so many people wear down their face well you're not going to get that with this instead you're going to get a really beautiful soft contour which is what contouring is supposed to be it's also really good for contouring out my 55 chins and my four finger forehead i love it so for blusher i'm using the benefit california blusher this is my first time using this blusher here i have used it a good few times since do i love it no it's just kind of all right for the price for it i'd be wanting a little bit more for highlighter, I'm using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I don't really need to say very much about this because it just speaks for itself. It is just gorgeous. Like, I mean, look at it. It is so glowy looking on the skin and it doesn't look powdery either. So on to the finishing touch, the lips. So I'm using one of the Balm Pickup Liners here in the shade Boyfriend Material. I love these liners, they're so creamy, they don't drag on the lips. The only thing is because they're so soft, they do break that a little bit easier, so it's not one to put, like shove it in the handbag. For my lipstick, I'm using the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Ring of Fire. Now I am so beyond over liquid lipsticks, but this is different. This feels so comfortable on the lips. It's not drying, it doesn't ball, it wears down really well. In fact, it barely wears off at all. You nearly have to scrub it off. They are incredible. I need more Dose of Colors lipsticks. And there you have it. That is the finished look. Look at the big poser head on me trying to show off the makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. And anyway, yeah, sure, I'll talk to you all soon.